there, welcome to Theatre Kent News Updates here on our Facebook channel. If you're a, a fabulous member of Theatre Kent, welcome. Uh, one year, five years, ten years, doesn't matter here. We're all here for one thing and one thing only. That's community theatre and presenting it to Chatham Kent. So uh, I'm Eric Shaw, your publicity director. Uh, my responsibility is obviously getting our brand out there and making sure that all of those fabulous faces are seen on stage and our seats are filled with patrons of Chatham Kent. So, yeah, let's see. This is something new. Uh, we've never really done these online videos, so I just thought this would be a great way to learn a little more about Theatre Kent on a uh, more of a social media presence and learning more about our board members who do a lot of behind-the-scenes work here. And first, we have our training and education director, Tony Early. So, Tony, thanks for stopping by here. And, thanks. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about uh, your responsibilities uh, as training and education coordinator. Well, like you said, I'm uh, the training and education uh, director. So basically my job is to kind of to get people in and to start showing them what theater is actually about. Uh, the nuts and bolts, not just acting, but uh, behind the stage work, uh, directing, stage managing, ASM, which is assistant direct or stage manager, and, and anything else that you can think of that goes along with um, community theater. And that's... That's what I do. When did you start, and how many roles have you kind of undertaken in uh, your um, time here? I haven't been with them too, too long. I've been about two and a half years. I think I've done, I've done three, three or four roles. Uh, I've done a lot of backstage work too, uh, building sets. Uh, I was in my first production was something called uh, Something Rotten in Denmark, uh, which was uh, a, a one act short play directed by Eric Bristow, our director, um, which was a, a super amount of fun. Um, it, was a it was just a walk-on bit role, um, but it was my first taste you got your foray you got into your it, and, it was, and I did. It, it, as soon as it got under my skin, it was, it was there. I wasn't going anywhere. So I've, I've jumped in uh, full force with it since then, and I've done, I've done quite a bit. I did uh, uh, Mary Poppins, a lot of backstage work, helped build the set, and did some ASMing, and then we were Noosa's off last year uh, at uh, the Living Faith Church, which was a great experience. For our, our two-year term, first mm -hmm. one, uh, is there anything that you're kind of hoping to bring towards our uh, theater group? Um, I'm just hoping that I can get the community a little more involved in what we're doing. I think everybody knows who Theater Ken is. I think everybody's heard of us at some point, but we've kind of been forgotten about. Um, it's been really low key. We don't. We do a couple of shows a year, um, but I think right now our goal is to get Theater Kent out into the community mm -hmm. again. Like we're brand new. Like. It's been 40 years, but we're still we're still doing what we've always done, and we want to do more. We want to get more involved in that. Absolutely, I think a lot of the work going behind the 40 years makes us, you know, rejuvenate as For a sure. community theater group. You know, we have been here since 1978, people. So, you know, yeah. and, you know, the veterans that started the foundation. You know, we just got to keep that uh, light burning. Yeah, and keep, keep that going. torch going, right? So we're trying to implement these social nights. Uh, which will be yes. starting uh, once a month, uh, starting in February. So this is where the big announcement's coming in. And uh, Tony, our training and education coordinator, will give us a little more about it. At the Theatre Kent building, uh, so that's over on Victoria Ave, from 7 to 9, we're going to have our first social gathering of an improv night. And we haven't done one of those in a while. In fact, since I don't know when the last time we've done improv, you know, you can do improv on stage. But, you know, some people are a little shaky in the boots. So, Tony... Um, can you tell somebody who, you know, a seasoned actor or, you know, first time maybe coming in, what is improv? Well, improv essentially is, is going by the seat of your pants. Um, regular acting, you, you pick up a script, you read your lines, you memorize your lines, you say your lines. Well, improv, you don't have any lines. You kind of just, you get an idea. Uh, let's say you're doing a dinner theater. They may say, okay, well, you're, you're a bunch of uh, pirates uh, and somebody's been murdered, so you, now you're a pirate detective. That's all you get and you go with that and you... You basically invent your character, and you, you ride with it, and you just make it up as you go along. And that, that's, that's one aspect of it. There's a lot to it. There's a, there's a lot more that I think people really understand, even than I understand. <laughs> Is there a game that you can think of, you know, for a first-time person coming to an improv event that would kind yeah. of get them comfortable in an improv? Event? Well, one of my favorite improv games is the touch game, okay? So you have two people standing in, in a circle, and there doesn't have to be anything going on. You just, you just start doing something. And the people out in the audience basically watch you do this little parody, whatever it is that you decide you're doing, you just flow with it. Somebody says, stop, everybody freezes, you go up, one person goes out, that person goes in, and they carry on with a whole different line and change the whole setup. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's something I learned in high school. It was a great game. Uh, it's a great warm-up for anybody, and it kind of gets, gets the nerves 
loosened a little bit so you're not so tense when you do, because that's the worst thing you want to be as an actor is tense. Yeah. So improv can be a really good way of kind of just loosening up a little bit at the beginning of something. So let's talk with some of the youth actors that might be listening. You know, how important is improv? You know, if you want to be on the stage, you know, if this is something you really... Well, it's essential, yeah. yeah. It's very essential. I mean, like you said be before, when you mess up and you're on stage in front of an audience, a paying audience, you don't want to stop and be like... That's true. I don't know what my line is. You want to continue, you want to move, you want to keep going, right? So you have to learn how to get around the fact that you basically just flub the line. And improv kind of teaches you how to do that. So you can move past that point and on to the next actors or your own line, whatever you have to do to get past that point. So there can be no stop. So that play flows. And, and, and people won't notice. People will never notice. No. Tony, thanks for coming in and giving us your yep. thoughts on uh, improv night. February 22nd, 7 9. Do you have any um, words of wisdom, again, for you know, some potential people to come on out and you know, give improv their first try, perhaps, or their, maybe um, seasoned improvers? Uh, words of wisdom, basically, all I can say is don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Um, everybody's a newbie at some point, so come on out and give it a shot. Because, I mean, if you don't, you're just going to end up, you're going to end up missing out. And it is a lot of fun. And like I said, once it gets under your skin, you can't get it out again. That's great. So to, uh, check more about this on our Facebook page. February 22nd, 7 to 9. Check out the Facebook page. Uh, if you're interested, just sign on up. There'll be a new uh, event page created for that. Uh, snacks will be welcome. Of course, you know, we don't want any peanut allergies, so just be wary of that. Uh, we'll be having a great time uh, doing some improv and just literally thinking outside the box. So thanks again, Tony, for coming. And stay tuned for more uh, updates here on our Theatre Kent page, you know, serving Chatham Kent since 1970.